I've learned that home is the place where we grumble the most and are loved the best. I've learned that I shouldn't get out of the shower to answer the phone. It'll stop ringing the minute I get out. I've learned the first graders are the only ones who think it's neat when their teeth fall out. I've learned that when traffic signal light says walk, I better run. I've learned that drinking a Diet Coke doesn't make up for the candy bar that I've enjoyed earlier. And it learns that the closest I forget to living the fast lane is when I'm going through the express lane in the supermarket. I've learned that getting up early is a problem for me and my mom. I've learned that I should never tell my husband bad news on an empty stomach. I've learned that it makes me happy to see to see the answering machine light flashing when I get home. I've learned that you should never put off saying I love you in any relationship as long as you sincerely mean it. Otherwise, you may spend the rest of your life regretting it. I've learned that the importance of fame, fortune, and all that appeals to the comparison to the importance of a positive personal relationship. I've learned that I should never have taught my four-year-old sister how to load and shoot my BB gun. I've learned that when my house is the messiest, my mother-in-law will drop by. And I've learned that loaning money to friends and relatives causes them to get amnesia. I've learned that when your oil light is on in your car, you really should put some oil in it. I've learned that when I'm acting really stupid and I think that no one's watching, that the person I want to impress is watching. I've learned that women will never understand the Three Stooges. I've learned that all grandchildren are beautiful, brilliant, and take after their grandparents. I've learned that being an elementary teacher is the most noble profession of all. I've learned that saying hi to somebody can result in a new friend tomorrow. I've learned that old age is not a defeat, but a victory, not a punishment, but a privilege. I've learned that it's no fun to watch television unless you have the remote control. And I've learned that good or bad, most things don't last very long. I've learned that just when I think that everything, just when I think I know everything, my son will ask me something that I don't even know, or I can't even possibly explain. I've learned that an act of love, no matter how great or small, is always appreciated. I've learned that ranch dressing tastes good on anything. I've learned that my mom is always right about my boyfriends. I've learned that the way to grow old gracefully is to keep active. I've learned that no matter how old or how experienced you are, you can always learn something from a child. I've learned that when planning a project, the shortest pencil is worth more than the longest memory. And I've learned the middle of age is the best time of my life so far. I've learned that the best I've learned that it's best to ask for what you need from your loved ones and not to assume somehow that they just know. I've learned that these are supposed to be the best years of my life and I'm for one bumpy ride. I've learned that you should never buy a white carpet if you have a black dog. I've learned that there are two words for which always draw a crowd. Free food. I've learned that my husband's encouragement can make me do anything that I thought I couldn't. I've learned that girls who won't hold frogs, snakes, and mice because it's not girlish thing, it's not a girlish thing to do, are missing something good. I've learned that you should never lend your brother your allowance. And I've learned that a handmade quilt gives more comfort as well as warmth. I've learned that there's no substitute so bad as losing your temper and it won't temper and it won't make it worse. And I've learned that you should always put on a new bathing suit and get it wet before wearing it in public. And I've learned that most people don't look for the truths of life. They only search for someone to agree with them. And I've learned that everybody wants to have a special someone. And everybody wants to be a special someone. I've learned that my best friend and I can do anything or nothing and have the best time. I've learned that no matter how beautiful makeup is, it can't hide the expressions of a sad heart. And I've learned that one sincere apology is worth more than all the roses and money all the roses money can buy. And I've learned that all bad four-letter words out of them all, diet is the worst. I've learned that if you have several tasks to do, the hardest one first, then do the hardest one first because the rest are a snap. I've learned that you can't believe everything you hear, even if you hear it twice. I've learned that you'll never, ever see a U-Haul trailer behind a hearse. I've learned that a woman can stand anything but being forgotten or being for needed. I've learned that having five brothers and one sister is a really great blessing, even though it's taken me 16 years to figure out what was the blessing. And I've learned that country music can always make me feel better when a melancholy when I'm melancholy, because the people in the songs are always in a worse situation than I am. I've learned that people can surprise you sometimes. The people you can expect to kick you when you're down will be the ones to help you actually get back up. And I've learned that warmth, kindness, friendship is the most yearned commodities in the world, and the person who can provide them will never be lonely. Practice your warmth, 
kindness, friendship. And I've learned that if you leave your clothes in an ironing pile long enough, you'll outgrow them, and you could sell them at a yard sale. I've learned that you should never tell a child that his dreams are unlikely or outlandish. Few things are more humiliating, and what a tragedy it would be if he believed it. I've learned that although I can skip class without getting in trouble, there's still the consequences at the exam time. And I've learned that picking out a lunchbox for an eight-year-old is a major decision. I've learned that you can throw ten socks in the laundry, and only nine will come out. I've learned that it's never too late to start reading the Bible. I've learned that the minute an extra thinking, I've learned that a minute of extra thinking beforehand can save hours of worry later. I've learned that all the advances in wisdom in the world cannot help you unless you apply it into your daily life. And I've learned that the greatest physician in the world is optimism. And I've learned that there are good neighbors wherever you live. I've learned that a smile, how are you? As a warm, close, caring hug always gives love, faith, and hope. And I've learned that nothing feels as good as my fiancé's arms around me when we've been separated too long. I've learned that good habits are just as hard to break as bad habits. And I've learned that the easiest way to find happiness is to quit complaining. I've learned that a prayer I say most often is, Lord, please keep your arms around my shoulder and your hand over my mouth. I've learned that if you are in a friendship with someone who doesn't believe in you, then you should get out before you stop believing in yourself. I've learned that it doesn't make much of a difference whether or not your name, whether or not you name your cat. He never comes when you call anyway. I've learned that when you have problems operating your VCR or DVD, you call for your five-year-old grandson. I've learned that you're never too old, or too old to try something new. I've learned that no matter how much of a friend promises to tell you anything else, she always does. No matter how much a friend promises not to tell anyone else, she always does. I've learned that you can't scramble eggs in the toaster oven. I've learned that I'm the only one in my house who cleans the hair out of the shower drain. I've learned that when I surprise an old friend with a phone call, it seems like just yesterday that we actually last spoke. I've learned that as an adult, an adult is someone who has stopped growing, except in the middle. And I've learned that my grandmother, I've learned that grandmothers are still girls at heart. They like pats, hugs, and kisses. I've learned that people place too much importance on progress and not enough on the maintenance. And I've learned that... The longer you have been in the car with your children, the harder it is to laugh at the jokes they tell. I've learned not to side or slide down wooden stairs with my sled. I've learned that whining does not solve my problems. And I've learned that no matter how closely I follow her recipe, my cooking never tastes as good as mom's. And I've learned that life is like a 10-speed bicycle. Most of us have gears that we never use. And I've learned that you shouldn't leave a fork on your plate when you reheat your food in the microwave. And I've learned that some people love talking about history, especially their own. And I've learned that I'm grateful for what I've learned, no matter what it cost me. I'm grateful for what I've learned. And I've learned that when my dog or my children are feeling very insecure, they follow me everywhere, including the bathroom. And I'd rather have a best friend than a girlfriend. Well, except maybe on Friday night. I've learned that you are not an adult until you accept responsibility for your own actions and quit blaming everything on the way your parents reared you. I've learned that playing football in the house is not a good idea. I've learned that whatever color you like the, the least, your mother-in-law will love the most. I've learned that no other drinks last a sip of anything in a container, or they wouldn't wash or refill. I've learned that no one ever drinks the last sip of anything in a container, or else they'd have to wash or refill. And I've learned that there's no joy like the joy of seeing a child learn to read. I've learned that you should keep an open mind, but not so open that your brain falls out. And I've learned the absent-minded people get lots of exercise doing the things that they can't find. And I've learned that doctors deserve and appreciate thank you notes. And I've learned that good quality underwear is worth the extra cost. I've learned that sometimes life hands situations when all you can do is put one foot in front of the other and live moment to moment. And I've learned that if you're not willing to move mountains with your friends, you won't be willing to move them. For, they won't be willing to move them for you. And I've learned that nothing makes your heart rejoice more than children, all ages and colors, playing happily together on a playground at recess. I've learned that life with my husband's faults and hands down is better than a life without my husband. I've learned that you should assemble a baby crib in a room where you intend to use it. It won't fit through the door fully assembled. I've learned that just because someone doesn't love you the way you want them doesn't mean that they don't love you with all that they have. I've learned that taking a break in the middle of a job is not half as relaxing as taking a break after the job is finished. 
Now I've learned that the best place to fill sugar bowls is over the sink. I've learned that I'm getting more and more like my mom. I'm kind of happy about it. I've learned that you can gain two pounds by eating half a pound of fudge. I've learned that sometimes when I'm angry, I have the right to be angry, but that doesn't give me the right to be cruel. And I've learned that you should hope and work, but never hope then. Hope more than you work. I've learned that if you finish the toilet paper roll without replacing it, you'll be the first person who needs it next. I've learned that not everyone can be silly. Some people just know how. I've learned that the best part of the day is when my daughters first get home from school and we talk about their day. I've learned that you're asking for trouble when you leave a three-year-old in a car with the keys in the ignition. I've learned that a true friendship continues to grow, even over the longest distance. I've learned that some people can spend years putting off a ten-minute job. I've learned that I can tell a lot about a people, but what items they notice in my home. I've learned that my mom was right about life when she commented, when she commented that no one ever said it would be easy. I've learned that nothing will help you stick to a good diet more than people telling you how good you're looking. I've learned that a mother is only as happy as her child. I've learned that perspective is everything. To a worm digging in the hard ground is more relaxing than going fishing. To a worm digging in the hard ground is more exciting than going fishing. It's all about perspective. I've learned that you shouldn't eat in a restaurant where the cook is skinny. And I've learned that nothing is and nothing in the world looks as precious as a sleeping child. I've learned that the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else. And I've learned that putting toothpaste on your zits will make them go away. I've learned that the, one of the best things that I can give a grieving friend is my presence, not my words. And I've learned that my wife contributes to everything I do simply just by being there. And I've learned that picking out a Halloween pumpkin is fun at any age. I've learned that the best and most neglected advice I've ever received was from my mother. And I've learned that there's a great feeling and satisfaction in checking off the final item on my things to do today list. And I've learned that stain resistant carpets will stain. And I've learned that while progress means change, change does not always mean progress. I've learned that no matter how long it takes between visits, I see my sister and it's like it's only been a week, not years. I've learned that as you get older, I've learned that when you have an older brother, it is much larger and he's much larger than you. He's always right. I've learned that it's easier to meet interesting people in bookstores. I've learned that it's worth fighting for causes, but not with people. I've learned that kindness given to one person is contagious, and it will be passed along. And I've learned that two retired people cannot live in harmony with a single control electric blanket. And I've learned that when packing on a vacation, you should take half as many clothes as you think you will need and twice as much money. Your clothes and money should run out about at the same time. And I've learned that if you keep your husband's coffee cup filled as you travel, you'll never have to ask him to stop. You'll never have to ask to stop at a rest area. And I've learned that good friends is the one who tells you how you really look in your jeans. And I've learned that I appreciate my mother a lot more since I became a mother. I've learned that both a young child and an old person can make me feel young. And I've always learned, and I've learned that the less I have to work with, the more things I get done. And I've learned that having a young friend when you're old is a special joy. I've learned that many of my regrets result from the things I didn't do, so I'm not most likely to say why not instead of no way. I've learned that so many of my regrets result from things I didn't do, so now I'm more likely to say why not instead of no way. I've learned that no matter how much I care, some people just don't care back. And I've learned that you can sit and worry until you're physically ill, but worrying doesn't change things. Action does. And I've learned that no matter how old I am, I always want my mother when I'm hurting. And I've learned that if you die broke, the timing was right. And I've learned if you shouldn't hold important conversations in bathrooms, you never know who's in the next stall. And I've learned that it's best to give advice in only two circumstances, when it's requested and when it's life-threatening. I've learned that putting things in the safe place doesn't mean that you can find them again when you look. And I've learned that Santa Claus has good years and bad years. I've learned that sending my mother flowers on my birthday with a card saying, Happy birthday with love, makes her happy. And I've learned that you should never go up a ladder with just one nail. I've learned that marriage is not always easy to have to work on, but it's the most, but it's more than anything else in life in order to make it successful. And I've learned that a marriage is not always easy. You have to work on it more than anything in life in order for it to be successful. And I've learned that when you buy a musical instrument, never attempt to economize. Buy the best one that you can afford with a reputable dealer. A cheap instrument will never express the music that's in your heart.